Hi, I'm Tony, and in this video we're covering Sports Bike Shop's five most popular budget full-face helmets, all with an internal sun visor, and all costing less than £200. My term for these helmets is sports touring helmets, but obviously they're not just for sports riding or for touring. These are great helmets really for pretty much all kinds of riding. The following five helmets have all been selected based on a combination of customer feedback and also our own opinions after wearing and reviewing these helmets on the road. With some of these lids, you'll need to stick to plain colours to stay within the £200 budget. If we've got a full review of any of these individual helmets, the links will pop up as we go through the video. Right, here they come. Shark's D-School 3 has made a big step on from the D-School 2 and it makes a great choice for a sub £200 sports touring lid. The shell is made from Lexan, which is a high quality polycarbonate, but a measured weight of 1589 grams for a size medium is very respectable and overall build quality is good. The new visor is great, a pinlock insert is supplied and you get a chin curtain and a breath guard to help keep out drafts and protect the visor. The liner quality is high and the micrometric strap fastener is very simple as well. Owners like this helmet with an average rating of 4.8 from the first 11 customer reviews. They particularly like the quality, the comfort and the spec. Some say the visor lock is a bit tricky to release and they also find venting a bit weak, but spectacle wearers say it's easy to fit their glasses inside. Sizes range from extra small to 2XL with two shell sizes. To keep within our budget, you need to stick to plain colours, which have a list price of £180. The AGV K3 is popular enough to make our video that covers the best sports touring helmets regardless of price, so it was always going to be a shoe in for this guide to budget options. Like some other helmets here, you'll need to stick to plain colours or you can bust the £200 budget and get yourself a graphic or a race replica design. Our size medium weighs 1533 grams, so it's quite light for a helmet with a plastic shell and owners say the overall quality is very high. From the first 35 reviews, the K3 is running a 4.8 average rating, which is impressive after that number of reviews. I personally found the venting a bit weedy and I would have liked an anti-fog sun visor as well, but customers don't seem to mind those things at all. If there's a common customer grumble, it's about noise, but that's a very personal thing and it's impossible to gauge how noisy a helmet will be for you. On the plus side, spectacle wearers say they're happy with this helmet. Sizing runs from extra small to 2XL in three shell sizes. Planes cost £180 or £190. Regular graphics are £210 and race replicas are £230. The Scorpion XO491 is a decent helmet that's at the cheaper end of the five helmets here with a list price that starts at £120. It's got a plastic shell and our medium weighs 1689 grams. That's more than the other lids here, but it's not exactly a heavyweight. There's no pin lock insert included, but you can add one of those for £30, which brings the starter price up to 150 quid. Even if you buy one of those, this is still the joint cheapest helmet in this list. Owners are almost entirely positive. They praise the sun visor and the overall feel of quality. That lack of pinlock does get mentioned and one rider also criticises the weight. After the first 11 reviews, the average customer rating is a very healthy 4.8. Sizes go from extra small up to 2XL and there are three shell sizes. The £120 list price is for plain colours and graphics are £140. HJC's C70N makes it to this list based on the popularity of its predecessor, the C70. After the first 99 customer reviews, the C70 had an average rating of 4.8. Seeing as this C70N is essentially the same helmet, but updated to meet the new ECE2206 safety standard, then it was a really straightforward decision to include this helmet in this video. Now, the thing is, there are still plenty of C70s left as we record this, and they're being cleared at a price of £100 in plain colours or £120 for graphics. Now, okay, that helmet's approved to the older safety standard, ECE 2205, but the C70 has a five-star rating in the stringent, sharp safety scheme, so I have no concern at all about protection levels for that helmet. There's no pinlock with either the C70 or this C70N, so it's another £30 if you want one of those. If there are some C70s around when you're shopping, then it's an absolute steal. If not, the C70N is still a good shout at a starting list price of £130. The C70 runs from XS to XL, and the C70N goes up to 2XL. Both have three shell sizes. And one last thing, this is the only helmet here with D-rings to fasten the strap. If low weight is a high priority, then the Nolan N66 will catch your eye. 
We weighed a size medium at 1446 grams, making this the lightest helmet in this video. At a 150 pound starting list price, it's at the cheaper end of these helmets, especially when you consider it comes with a pin lock insert pre-installed. After 11 customer reviews, this helmet sat on a 4.7 average rating. The two most critical reviews say the lack of a chin curtain makes the N66 drafty and noisy. Adding a curtain from Nolan's N87 fixes that issue and it only costs an extra tenner. The other issue is a lack of intercom speaker recesses. One of these is a bit of a gamble if you want to use comms as there may not be room for speakers and your ears. If you wear glasses, there are removable chunks of foam at the top of the cheek pads to make space for your spectacle arms. Sizes for this helmet start at double extra small and go up to 3XL. There are two shell sizes to cover that range. The £150 starting list price covers plain colours, while graphics are £190. Okay, so there's our take on the best sports touring helmets for less than £200. Something else to remember here, helmets often come down in price, especially when older designs are discontinued, so you might find a more expensive lid has now fallen below £200. For that reason, there's a link in the description below this video that will take you to all of our full face helmets with a sun visor that cost £200 or less at the time that you click on that link. If you want the best helmets regardless of price, we cover those in another video, which you can watch by following the link that should be popping up on screen now. Okay, I hope you found this video useful and that you're now closer to finding your perfect helmet. Thanks for watching.